Hey, this is the first of a series of uh, haul videos um, that I'm making. Um, this selection of polishes was from TJ Maxx. Um, as you can see, the price tags are still on the polish. Um, this Nicole polish was $2.99, and it's called, this was the Gumdrops collection, and the color is I Lilac Gumdrops. Now, when you read the little attached flyer, it says it recommend it says dries to a textured matte finish infused with reflective glints of light. Apply base and two coats of color. Do not use as a top coat. Um, I have never had the Nicole brand before, and it's photographing with like a very very blue tint to it. I think one of my filters, let's, I wonder if I can get that filter to go off, but right now it's filming like it's, um, let's see if maybe filming that. Yeah, I really wish, I think the white filter is triggered right now, because that is definitely not blue. It has, it's like a light purple with sort of a metallic fine glitter maybe on the silver side to it. That's how I would describe that color. And, and that is definitely not photographing true to color at all. This one is coming out pretty close. This looks like a neon sort of yellow green, almost you know, like a fluorescent. And it reminds me of I don't know, it's it's really a unique, kind of cool color. This one's called, this green is a scream, which would be a great color for Halloween. Um, the next one is OPI's To Be or Not To Beagle. Sorry, it's, the zoom's not picking up for some reason. Having all sorts of camera troubles here. It won't focus. It says to be or not to beagle. And now what's unique about this is it's a confetti polish. And the little confettis are hexagons, but some of them have like little dots. It's like whatever they used for the source confetti. I don't know if I can get that to zoom in. See the little dots are almost like print on the confetti. Um, it could be the underlying... Actually, I guess what it is is that there's multicolored sort of comic book colored um, hexes, and then there's this tiny faint... Let's see if I can get it to show. There's this faint, like, little tiny black specks, and then it's a clear base polish. It re totally reminds me of um, a comic book, though, like with the pixelated you know, color that makes up the comic book coloring itself. The next one is the same sort of little hex confetti with the light, with the clear coat, base coat, and then the little tiny flecks of black. And this one is called Where's My Blanket? And now these OPIs were three ninety nine from TJ Maxx. Um, I love when TJ Maxx has... OPI or any really anything. They oh, they really have a nice selection. They had a lot today when I went and got these. Um, this next one is the Sheer Tints by OPI and this color is Don't Viol Violet Me Down. And this is a really like intense grape purple sheer. So we'll see how that ends up. I might try doing some layering effects with this. I've watched some videos by some pretty big um, nail polish um, channels that where they've done layers with things like this type of color. So I have some ideas in mind of what I might do with this one. Um, I do want to mention that the colors that are in this, the hexes are like, like a melon and a yellow on this one. 
it should be interesting to see how this one goes over various different base polishes. That's definitely what I would do with this, is put it over... Like, I could totally see putting this Nicole by OPI under, like, say, this one. So that would be something I would consider doing. So thanks so much for watching, and again, the OPIs were $3.99. The Nicole by OPI were $2.99. Um, don't really see... Let's see. I think that they have the same amount. They both... Both brands have 15 milliliters, so I don't really see why the Nicole were cheaper, but that's, you know, fine if they decide to go a little lower. I don't know, maybe they thought the bottle looked smaller, I'm not sure, but um, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to have individual reviews of these polishes up eventually, okay? Have a great night.